loves welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna show you guys i don't know what that was but i'm gonna show you guys how i basically style my hair to this from that i'm gonna run you guys through my favorite hair care products especially like how i treat my color treated hair and for those of you that have light or bleached hair how i maintain this color even after weeks of coming back from my hair appointment and how i style this hair i really love this hair for like an easy spring summer tousled look you know so my hair is as you can tell out of control absolutely filthy i just got done with um hot yoga so i threw my hair up in a very tight bun situation and this is what it looks like down and i also styled it the past couple days so it has products so i'm going to show you guys my hair care routine and so first things first this is the shampoo and conditioner combo that i use this is from living proof living proof literally saved my hair i think like one of the very first times i ever got to bleach my hair died it fried off it was it was horrible my hair was like orange yellow reverse damage shampoo and conditioner. I really like how this one feels on my hair because I can feel like my strands feel silkier. Um, they feel less tangled afterwards and less dry. So this is a combo that I use, but a really important element for my hair especially because as you can see, like it's super, super white and I like to keep it that way, super white and ashy. And I know a lot of people use purple shampoo, but let me tell you the real hack is blue shampoo so blue shampoo basically takes the orange out of your hair and it keeps your hair nice and bright and like icy ashy i have to use blue shampoo in order to maintain this color because what purple shampoo does is it basically takes out the yellow in your hair but while it takes out the yellow it deposits some of the purple in your hair so it kind of makes your hair a little bit darker so if i use purple shampoo it'll make my hair a little darker but using blue shampoo keeps it really nice and bright and ashy and i use this one from Fanola, and this is <laughs> the honestly the only one that i've used because even my purple shampoo i was using Fanola. literally this is the best and sometimes my roots get like a little band of yellow. I feel like that's when it starts to turn a little bit brassy. What I like to do is also, I just put it in my hair actually, wash my hands, but take a little bit of the blue shampoo and just put it on my hair as like a mask before I get in the shower. And I feel like that kind of helps like neutralize out like the orange color and the brassy color. So I have it right here right now. I just put a little bit in. I'm just gonna let it sit for like five, 10 minutes and then hop in the shower. I love using this hair turban. I've been using it literally forever. So basically it is a microfiber towel and it helps to dry your hair faster and without, I believe it's like less friction. So it's really good if you have damaged hair like mine. My hair is very processed. I'm very committed to this color. So I feel like after the shower is really where it matters for me because how I take care of my hair and what products I use really determines like how soft it is um how hydrated it is as opposed to being super dry and how easy it is to actually manage and first i'm starting off with this it's a 10 miracle leaving keratin i've been using this for so long and you can get this at any drugstore i think they even have it at like ralph's but my hairstylist got me onto this and this works so well i'm in this spray it doesn't work oh look who said it's gonna work for camera yeah so i'm just gonna spray it all in my hair so just put it on my hand. You guys, I'm telling you, if you have dry or damaged hair, this is literally a miracle worker. I especially make sure to focus on my ends here. And then I know some people don't go all the way up to their roots, but I actually do. I mean, because I feel like the hair around your hairline is really, really delicate, like the baby hairs. So I just always make sure to get it in there too. And then next, I basically have my trifecta of hair oils and I love just oils in general, but also hair oil. And I'm gonna start by using this Briogeo Don't Despair Repair. And then they also have the hair mask, which is one of my favorites, but as you saw, I ran out. That one is incredible. I love the way it smells too. And then for oils, I like to just start it from 
the bottom and then work work my way up and then august and Spader, if you guys have not tried the skincare line it is creme de la freaking creme it works amazing and now they have their whole hair hair care line they have shampoos and conditioners which i have but i haven't tried it which reminds me that i do need to try it but i've also been using this hair oil and this bottle is the same bottle as their face oil so do not get them confused this one is really good for detangling, smoothing out your hair, and adding shine. And you can use it on towel dry hair like mine or on just clean dry hair. Take a couple drops. And then this one, you will feel a difference. This one actually does feel like the oil consistency. It's like a bit thicker and a bit like creamier, I would say. So I feel like because this one's heavy, I am going to, again, concentrate it on the bottom but really not that close to this top of the crown area because it's going to weigh your hair down also i feel like this is an unpopular opinion but i actually do like to brush through my hair when it's towel dry i like the way it dries and the way it's styled if i do brush it out but also no i do have really really thick hair like my hairstyle is always like oh my god you have so much hair so i feel like if you have thin or finer hair maybe not but i actually do like to brush it out and i'm using this dyson brush and it has like this nice plush one so i feel like it's similar to like a wet brush like it doesn't really pull so i'm just gonna gently just brush it out and after you put all the product in it i feel like there's really no ten tension there's really no friction to brushing it so I'm really just doing it really, really lightly and there's no tangles or anything like that. Now that we've properly like conditioned, done the hair mask and then all the product, I like to just brush my hairline up like this because I found that it's easier when I style my hair. This is basically wet training my hair. You guys, if you guys have not tried Dyson products, you must. They have been... I keep using the word game changer, but it's because it really, really has. I don't use any other heat product on my hair. I have the Dyson straightener and I have the Dyson blow dryer. And I feel like it has a way of blow drying your hair without stripping it of all the hydration. Because sometimes I feel like when I use certain blow dryers, my hair feels like hay. It feels hot and brittle. I don't like the way that it dries, but with this one, it's got that Dyson touch in it. So literally my hair feels really still hydrated afterwards and not not like hay. And that's what we're looking for, especially with processed hair. And here she is, everybody. And they also have different attachments you can do, but I just kind of use it like this. And this one too also has three levels. the fan side and there's a heat side so i feel like if you don't want to put that much heat to your hair you can lower it i just use both on full blast and then there's this button if you just want cool air and when i blow dry my hair i always make sure to do it with the blow dryer facing down my hair is getting dried like this instead of like flipping my hair over because that actually tangles your hair and for people that have bangs or again like to do like framing the Face, face kind of bangs. This is actually a good way to set your front. And I'm not done with my oils yet. This is the last one. This is from Playa. This is a Ritual hair oil. The consistency of this, again, is really light, but I love the smell of this one. So I love using it just at the end. And you can see like the blow drying made it a little bit like almost look like it's getting tangled so i'm gonna run a little bit of this through and then brush my hair one more time and then just let it set and dry it smells so good so i'm just gonna take just press up my roots and with that we're gonna let this air dry and let's go to my face okay and we are back i literally just ate lunch and i had to unzip this whole thing I don't know about you guys, but like whenever I eat lunch, I just get so bloated. Like I just, I had to unzip it. Anyways, so this is what my hair looks like dried so far. But as you can see, like when I tuck my um, front, 
bangs behind my ears it kind of creates this like curtain bang kind of situation i feel like it frames it nicely and as you can see my hair is super super icy and i feel like it's helped with my roots too because i did like the blue shampoo mask before i went in so before i start styling my hair i'm gonna use heat protectant and this also protects from uv and did you know so uv rays i feel like we wear sunblock but also our hair needs it too so especially if you're traveling this summer and you're going going like into the ocean or you'd be out by the pool for a long time make sure to do heat protectant uv protection on your hair another really good tip that my hairstylist gave me is last summer i went to bermuda and i didn't do anything with my hair like i was just swimming in the ocean just having a good time my hair was so brittle and so dry and like it was so yellow and my hair cells was like, okay, next time you go, what you do is basically run coconut oil all over your hair because that will first of all help repel like the seawater. So I actually did that on my following trip when I went to Italy. It actually did help a lot. I mean, your hair kind of looks, you know, obviously the kind of oily and stuff. But I feel like I can slick it back, make it a look or tie it into like a tight knot or something. Anyways. Yeah, so this is the nice coral straightener and this is the only thing that i use on my hair to style it of course I use to straighten but also to like wave and style and i feel like you can make pretty good volume and pretty different types of hair styles with this it is wireless so i just make sure to charge it before because i like using it without the wire because since it's magnetic sometimes it just like comes off so i just have to charge it ahead of time after i use it every time i just make sure to charge it and i've tried the wireless before it if you do take it anywhere it will last you maybe you know i think you can style your hair once um after like a full charge or at least for me so use it wisely okay we're fully charged y'all this right here has been one of my favorite hairstyles to do recently i feel like it kind of looks like tousled effortless look and it adds a lot of volume to your hair so we're gonna get a section of the hair and then just flick the wrist in and basically that's that i'm just gonna hold it for a second <sighs> cheers when i was in cheer in high school for this bottom part because it is so cl close to like our um, roots and our scalp just do be mindful not to get too close you honestly don't even really have to get that close speaking of cheer like i literally only tried out because one of my um breast friends at the time she was like this incredible dancer and then she tried out um she was on the varsity team i was on jv used to be so painfully shy guys even beginning from I think elementary school, I'm my mom, the, the teacher at a conference with my mom saying like, oh, you know, like Ellen isn't socializing with anyone. She never talks in class. I don't know why I was so shy, honestly, but thank God I was able to like break, break out of that. So on my first pep rally, I dead ass blanked out. So like I was, I forgot the choreography and I remember just like standing there. And it's just like, oh, wow, I like, like blanked out. And I was looking at the bleachers and I think I literally just like froze while everyone was dancing. And then a couple counts later, I think I like finally caught up. But I was just, yeah, I remember that so well when I just like entirely dead ass blanked out during a pep assembly. It's really interesting to see that I'm doing what I'm doing now because it really required me to like come step out of my comfort zone, put myself out there because I was always that shy girl. And then I remember someone on my cheer squad had called, she actually called me socially retarded because I was so shy, which I feel like that's a really, really mean and unnecessary thing to say, but it is what it is. And that's, I just remember that so well because I think to my face, like I think she was always very kind. And then someone told me she said that and I was like, all right. But I think what's really, really important to remember, I feel like whatever other people say about you, I feel like the saying goes, whatever Susie says about Sally says more about Susie than Sally. So just keep that in mind. Um, if someone says anything negative about you, I feel like I actually have a personality now where I'm actually really 
able to let that shit slide right off of me. But when I was younger, I feel like not so much. So we're now just waving everything in. And then I feel like once we get close to the top, this is when we're gonna start to kind of like wave some pieces in and then wave some pieces out to make it more like the tousled look. So I'm just gonna pull this back. And then what also helps is literally while like right after you do it, I feel like when it cools down, just holding it into place like this actually really helps because it will set it like that. We're gonna get thinner pieces, kind of a random placements, honestly. And I like to wave it out and then at the bottom, rotate it like this. Oh, well, that crook. There's kind of a little crimp, but all that will go away. So it basically will wave your hair like this. One more time for the people in the back. We're gonna wave it out and then rotate at the bottom like this. I used to be so compulsive with my hair. Like back in, when was it? I think back in high school or college, my mom would literally come, come home and I would just be dyeing my hair with like different random box dyes or just like cutting my own hair. I used to always cut my own hair, always cut my own bangs, always dye my own hair. Even when I first had really, really long hair, like I swear I used to have hair like down to here. But one night I got, I was just like, you know what, let me cut my hair. So I literally gave myself a bob. And that's how um, I got my bob. And so since then I've had a bob and then I've been going back and forth with long hair, but whenever it's been long hair, it's actually been extensions. It hasn't been my own hair. This we're gonna wave in and then out. There's really like no rhyme or rhythm to this. It's like kind of a messy, messy look. So really just random shit. And I feel like once we get to the bangs, that's where it really, really matters because I feel like this is what we see and then what frames your face. So I just always like to do my bangs last. So we're just gonna pin them back for now. This is around the face. I always like to wave it in just to frame my face. So we're just gonna wave it in and then literally just hold it like this. Just wave out. So it looks like this on the bottom. Oh my God, my camera is giving me the, it's getting too hot. I really love this Dyson because as you can see, I feel like it really makes your hair so shiny and it makes it look so healthy without making it look fried or anything like that. Cause trust me, if my hair is not styled, and I haven't done my products because sometimes I'll forget to take like obviously all my 12,000 products that you guys saw when I travel and my hair is so sad. It's like brassy and just so dry and she's not happy. She is unhappy with me. So we're gonna do the bangs now. We have, I like to just split it up and then wave it up and out like this. And then literally you're gonna just hold it in place again. And then as you guys saw, like I have breakage, breakage up here. So I try not to get too close to my hairline. So I feel like I'll start waving from like out here because right here, my hair is really sensitive. I mean, to each their own. Like I feel like if you do not have dyed processed hair and you have healthy hair, then girl, go for it. But not me, I don't have that luxury. Oh yeah, and Kel and I have planned a very um, like last minute trip to UK and Europe. And one of the places that we're stopping by is London. So expect this accent. I'm gonna be doing like a fake UK accent. So expect to be hearing a lot more of it, but I'm so excited to go back. I feel the last time I went, it was with Revolve. So that's what it looks like. And I feel like for here, I mean, I feel like I don't have bangs by the way that I curl it. It kind of looks like bangs. So that's like what we're trying to go for here. So anyways, I'm excited to go back to London. So when I was at USC, I studied abroad in London. I think for six, seven months, I went to Queen Mary. So I really feel like 
London has such a special place in my heart. It's like so sentimental. I feel like that was the first time I was away from home on my own. And then one of my best friends now, Heidi, her and I traveled together. I think we went to like 10 different countries. And this is when I was a junior in high school and junior in college, meaning I was on that junior college budget. And her and I literally stayed in like hostel, like public hostels where like it was a room with like five bunk beds and we slept with we had to like share the room with strangers like lock our stuff in a locker it was really on a budget um ryan air was our airline of choice not really not our, not our choice i guess the one we could only afford so anyways i'm really excited to go back to london okay now we're just gonna hold this and play Honestly, holding it and setting it like this makes a world of difference. Like you'd be so surprised because it literally just stays. And then I don't have anything in my hands. I don't know what I thought. Okay, and this is what it looks like. I feel like it doesn't have to be perfect. It's like a good spring hairstyle, I feel like. The last thing that we're gonna do is use this finishing cream front way. And basically Jen Atkins said it is like lotion for your hair. So you just honestly need a tiny bit any areas that especially up here because i have a lot of breakage you're just going to smooth out any of the ends here and here we have oh, and here we have my easy breezy covergirl spring hairstyle and you can also add texturizing spray if you want to add more volume but I feel like sometimes that dries my hair out and since my hair is fresh ass clean right now, I'm not gonna do anything. So this is the hairstyle. And it also looks cute like flipped, you know? It's like if someone says hi to you, you're like, yeah. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you wanna see any other hairstyles and tutorials for me, especially for this length hair. So I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe so we don't miss each other. Okay, love ya.